Hey folks, JR with Focus on Asia. Got a lighthouse behind us. We're in Boli now, Pangasinan. We just left our resort. We checked out at 12. Uh, it's about getting close to one o'clock, so it's hot out here. So we're sacrificing to show you a little bit of Pangasinan on our way to, uh, where are we going? Almin Alminos? Almino City? Almino City. Alminos. Mr. Say is quiet this morning. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's go check out this lighthouse and then uh, go for a drive. There's the lighthouse. According to the sign, this is the second tallest lighthouse in the Philippines. Unfortunately, you can't go up it. Second tallest, built by Filipino American and British engineers in 1905. It rises majestically 351 feet above the sea level. So maybe that's how they judging is tallest because it doesn't look that tall uh, land elevation is 250 feet visibility is 20 miles at mid sea towards the lighthouse in Poro Point in La Union so a little bit of history 1905 it's been here since built by Americanos some Brits and Filipinos and uh this building wasn't built to, to last though. Little, uh, anything here by the ocean, man. Taking that risk of, uh, check out this little deck right here. I got a crack running all the way down it <laughs> for this little drop off viewing platform. Makes you a little nervous. A pretty nice view. Got some nice flowers in there. Got some solar going on. Solar panels generating for I don't know what. This building there is all disrepair. This building over here looks decent. And then of course you got this one. Back of the lighthouse you got these uh, call them, what are they called? Kamyas. These are like super sour and uh, you can use them for synagogue instead of uh, tamarind. Pretty cool. I just want to show you this for some people that ain't aware the mangoes mango season they'll cover them up like this wait for those vehicles to pass by you see the trees over here as well on that property um, just keep the uh, insects and keep them nice and uh, especially you can see the little tiny mangoes growing exposed on a few of them but they get them all bagged up, different colored bags. It's pretty cool. Sometimes in the Philippines, taking down a tree the size of, uh, I don't know what the hell. Look at the size of this thing. It just came down. We didn't get it on video. Look at the size of that sucker. <laughs> So 
So when you're out in the middle of the province driving around, just stop at a local place. We got Leona's Grilling Restaurant. We're uh, maybe 15 clicks out of Alaminos. So let's look what they got here. You got some beef and broccoli, calamari, fiesta, bilau, some lupia pancit. I know Mississippi is going to be getting some some fish for sure. Let's go inside and check out the food. So for being a small place, it's actually pretty good good size. They got the uh, bamboo room over here, just fans. We're in that special white person room with the aircon. It's pretty, actually pretty huge menu that they get. What'd you order? Yeah, whatever she ordered. I got caldereta kambing. Kambing being goat. So, we'll show you the food when it comes out. What is yours? It's the most popular uh, dish here in Pangasinan. Oh, dang. Have you had it before? What the heck? This is your province. Most popular dish in Pangasinan, Mississippi's province. And this is going to be our first time eating picar, picar. Picar, picar. Bigger, bigger. Sounds like pig ears, big ears. But it's beef, right? All right. We'll show you the food when it comes out. All right. First dish has come out. This is the caldereta kambing, which is goat caldereta. Potatoes, carrots, uh, really good sauce. Looks like got some uh, fried garlic on top. And then the goat meat. And then we got a couple scoops of rice. And then we're just waiting on Miss Cecilia's Pigar Pigar. There's the Pigar Pigar. Pigar Pigar. I guess the pronunciation is P I G A R. Pigar Pigar. It's a Pange Sanan local special. Uh, sauteed beef, cabbage. Looks like it's got some garlic on top as well. And uh, yeah, we're about to get to eating. Looks like beef stick. Look good? Yeah. Alright, we're all done. Miss Cecilia wiped out her pigar pigar. Actually, I tasted it. That was pretty good. Uh, the goat caldereta was a little bit different. They used part of the blood and innards in there, and that's not my thing, really. And the sauce was a little bit different, too. So, it wasn't bad, but just wasn't, you know, super to my taste. Grand total was... 605, 605 pesos. So I'll put a conversion right here and uh, we'll get back on the road on our way to Alaminos City. All right, we made it to Alamino City. We're staying here. Spotlight Hotel. I think uh, reading online, it's fairly new. That's one of the reasons why I picked it. Not bad price, I'll put the price in. Right down there, you can see that white ending kinda? That's, that's your ocean. So we're pretty close to the ocean. We'll probably go out there and explore here after we settle in. So, show you the room. All right, show you the room. Spotlight Hotel, Alaminos, which is 100 Islands, Pangasinan. Bathroom? Ah, got the good smell in there. Got this, uh, whatever, air freshener dealy going on. Looks like a hot water heater. Got the rain shower and the magic wand. We got the all important bum gun. Go in here. Got a small fridge. Had a couple bottles of water. And two, not one, but two queen beds. So Miss Cecilia can get away from me. And then uh, it's got a balcony. Got some greenery. All 
All right, it's evening time, early evening. We're in Alamena City, we're at the 100 Islands. This is where you come and get your boat. Check out all these. I've always liked these uh, shells, hanging deals. We used to have a couple of these in our house in, uh, in the States, kind of like this one here where we had uh, potted plants you could put inside it, you see. Put your plant in there. If you... Hello. So this is all. This is like a boat ramp down here. You get all your souvenir shops. A lot of them are closed up for the day, probably. I think the boats go out early to the Hundred Islands and then come back by the afternoon, and everybody closes up shop. But we'll walk around here, see if we can find out some information. We're here for a couple days. So this is the part I've seen on videos down here. Here's the uh, huge parking lot. These beautiful flowers everywhere. Real nice. Look at this tree. Look at the size of these flowers on this thing. More uh, souvenir stands. Got one food stall down here. Go down here and check out. I've seen in video down here, um, like night, nighttime, night market kind of thing. I don't know what days that is. Really nicely done down here. We'll get a sunset view probably while we're down here. Here's the uh, little gateway that most people are familiar with. 2023 Hundred Islands. So out here is your uh, hundred or so islands. See them off in the distance there. It's a national park. It's actually, you're closer down the road, but this is the main wharf where these, uh, show you these boats here. These boats take you out. There's a bunch of them here. It's all controlled, set prices. You pay at the tourist office instead of, uh, you know, haggling and getting ripped off maybe sometimes. So it's done well here. So we're going to see maybe uh, walk down this way and see if we can figure out what time we need to be here tomorrow. Go check out these islands. All right, to the right of the uh, sign, you got these little uh, snack stands. A lot of them ain't open yet. I'm Assuming later, a little bit later, you got this uh, Tapa King little trailer here, and then down here, they got some Carandarius. Go down there and take a look. There's a cafe here, a lot of stuff's closed. I think it's the uh, tourism office opens up at 6 a.m., so I'm sure a lot of people come here early to get a boat. And it looks like it's uh, 1,400 pesos for a small boat, which is good for five people, uh, even if there's just two of us. And then um, it's like 100 peso environmental fee and then 200 peso garbage fee, but your uh, garbage fee is reimbursable. There's some Carandarius. Helen's Eatery, Sean's Eatery, Onya's Eatery, Yoli's Eatery. Got some nice little uh, wagon wheel cement seats. Sit down on.
Hmm. Look at this place. We might have to venture over here. Got a uh, Italian, authentic Italian dining experience. And I'm sold because they got an actual wood fire, wood fired oven. Hello. Ah, I like your oven. That thing is raging. A gentleman's making some pizza right now, getting ready to go in the oven. I think we'll be eating here tonight. It's nice. It's got a uh, thatch roof. Looks like a thatch roof dining area. Look at this place, man. This is pretty nice. I think you'll be seeing more of this in the video because I think this is where we'll be eating tonight. So like we thought, we're here at El Trove. I think that's how that's pronounced. It's got that little little mark above the E, meaning it's fancy. So we're gonna order here, gonna eat here. Italian, they get that wood fired oven. I'll show you that here in a sec. Get a close up of it. We'll show you the food when it comes out. This is our dinner for tonight. All right, first dish is out. This is the uh, wood-fired pizza. We got a mushroom. Look at the bottom of this thing. The crust it looks perfect. This thing is a lot bigger than we were expecting. We got a pasta, and we got some salad coming out. Mrs. C is like going, why did we get so much food? But, you know, sometimes here in the Philippines, the pizza's like maybe that size normally. This is actually, I'd say at least a 14 inch pretty good sized pizza and looks really good so I'll show you the other food when it comes out just want to show the back side of this pizza this is uh I can't believe I'm saying this but this is better than Biggie's and I like Biggie's pizza in Angeles City but this crust is legit how you like it good better than Biggie's Best pizza in the Philippines so far? Sure. Sure. Well, Biggie's is the one we like the most. I think it is. Worth the drive out here to Pangasinan. All right, second dish has come out. This is the uh, fettuccine with the pesto, which is made with cashew, basil, and garlic. Looks pretty damn good. See, we've been wiping out the pizza. Good. <laughs> Hey folks, let's end this video. First night in Alaminos, Alamino City, 100 Islands. And speaking of 100 Islands, that's tomorrow. So check out the next video. Show you 100 Islands, Pangasinan. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Appreciate our subscribers. And uh, see you on the next video. Take care. Comfy pillow. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.